G'day, I'm Warwick Schiller and today uh, we've just finished filming uh, this yearling's first tying up session for my, my um, online training videos, the full length videos I have on there. And um, you know this yearling came in about five weeks ago, he was a wild man, you couldn't touch him in a 12 by 12 box stall, he was a wild man, scared to death of everything. You know and we've been through all the basic stuff and you know, I don't ever tie them up till I've been through all the basic groundwork and they, you know, they will they're easy to catch, they will stand there all day next to you, they don't feel the need to move their feet, they're not scared of things, they're not distracted, when you leave them they don't have separation anxiety, any of that stuff. And um, usually I, don't, I wait till all that stuff is done and good before I ever worry about tying them up. And you can see this is his first day tying up and this is what it's been like. You know, you don't want to tie up a horse that's fresh. So I, I went through all the groundwork, you know, beforehand, and it's a hot day here, so he's a bit sweaty. But, you know, once I got him hooked up there, oh, I've got to tell you what this is. This is a, I don't know if you've ever seen one of these, but this is what they call a blocker tie ring. It was invented by a fellow named Ted Blocker. And what it allows the horse to do is, it, if he needs to pull back and feel, you know, if he feels trapped and claustrophobic and wants to pull back, he can. Um, and it's just like an old snaffle bit, and you just make a loop in your in your lead rope and put it there. And let's say this horse got worried. Forward, he would get instant slack in it, okay? As opposed to tying them up with something stretchy, because if they pull back with something stretchy, they pull back to here, and then they step forward, they don't get release. They still wouldn't get released. They still wouldn't get released till they got back to where they originally came from. And this thing's not very hard to pull through there. You know, I can pull it through here with probably my thumb and forefinger like that. So it's not like there's a lot of pressure holding him there. But because in all the groundwork we've taught him to respond to less pressure than that, he thinks that's golden. Like he feels that little bit of pressure and he gets off it. Anyway, so some of the stuff we did with him was just an extension of what we've done elsewhere. He's just desensitized him like, like this, you know. So, you know, what we're doing is we're making sure nothing that moves fast while he's tied up is going to cause him to pull back. You know, I've done all that sort of stuff. I've taken this lead rope and just flipped it around his head like that. You know, this used to bother him a great deal, but we've done quite a bit of this stuff along the way. Um, I can take this lead rope and flip it over behind him like that, and he should just yield his hind end over that side. Then I can desensitize him on this side, you know, just throw this rope over here. Anyway, what I'm trying to show you guys is because we've done our homework with this yielding and not tried to tie him up before he was good at all this stuff. This stuff does not bother him. You know, I can flip all this stuff over here. A lot of horses when they're tied up, if anything moves quickly, they feel it really feel the need to pull back and do something silly. I'll just flip that over there and see if he'll just yield over this way now. Like that. You know, so all the basic desensitizing we've done before, we can do it with him tied up. I can take this whip thing here, whip it over his back, whip it on the ground, whip it like this, whip it right up behind him. He's a little bit concerned about that so I'll keep doing it till he's, there you go, he just relaxed. Um, you know, do that sort of thing, step over to this side right here. Notice every time I step over he yields that hind end over because that's what we've taught him to do elsewhere. Let's see if I can flip this over him right here. You might notice when he got a little uptight a minute ago, he didn't pull back, okay? He didn't pull against that lead rope. And if you can do all this sort of stuff with your horse tied up, there's probably not a lot that can go on that can cause them to pull back. Anyway, that's just a bit of a recap of the, just the first uh, tying up session we've had with him. And um, I think he passed with the flying colours. I was really happy with how it went. And... Uh, like I said, he was not the easiest horse to do anything with from the beginning, but because we took everything step by step by step and didn't go to the next thing till the thing before was good, um, he's now been pretty darn good. So anyway, hope that gives you something to think about. See you guys next time.